Welcome to Caddo. It is a cold February night. Regular season finale for the Caddo Bruins here from Caddo High School Gymnasium. I'm Joey McWilliams alongside my sometimes and somewhat silent partner, Jayla Quinn. Glad to get to bring you tonight's Bryan County Patriots spotlight game, which is now underway as the Caddo Bull or Caddo Calera Bulldogs are on the road tonight at the Caddo Bruins. There's lots of C, B, and gold, and black, and white on the court right now, so probably was just a matter of time. Get the starters to you here in just a moment as we want to say thanks to our sponsors tonight. To Gallipot Pharmacy, as well as to Smith Feed and Grain, Dane Joins Body Shop, Sales and Trails Family History, and Hausner's Storm Shelter. Our first quarter sponsor tonight for our broadcast is Gallipot Pharmacy. Gallipot Pharmacy, located at 301 East Main Street in Calera. Go see Josiah Schomer and his team. Take care of your prescription needs. Yeah, they've been a season-long sponsor here for the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Games. Want to say thanks to Gallipot Pharmacy. Cutter through the lane is Jeffries. And Keith Jeffries not able to bring that in. Starting lineups for Calera tonight, Timothy Eicher, Braden White, uh, I mentioned Keith Jeffries, a senior, another senior, Tyler Schubert, as well as junior Bodie Smith. And going strong to the basket for Calera is Timothy Eicher, and he has the first points of the game. 2-0, Calera on top of the Caddo Bruins here at home, and there is one of the two seniors on the court for the Bruins. It is KW Adair who misses the layup, but he is back to get the steal. Adair, the Bryan County Tournament MVP. There's the other senior passing off. Braden Couch, number 25, the other senior for Caddo tonight. Others on the starting lineup for the Bruins. Jacob Jen Jenkins, Colton Neptune, and Haven Nesbitt. And a foul being charged to Bodie Smith for Calera. Tough one to pick up in the early going for Smith. Doesn't want to give away a foul that quickly and really just on the baseline like that. But he picks up his first first team foul. Calera comes in with a record of 10 and 11. Caddo number 13 in Class 2A with a record of 19 and 2. We'll talk playoffs tonight over the course of the evening. And we have a foul, quick one, by Colton Neptune. And again, another foul, another post player picking up a quick foul well away from the basket. And that one much farther, about 60 feet from the basket. He'll take a seat, as will Nesbitt. And checking in now for Cano, Gary Hayslip and Chandler Lackey. Jeffries gives it and gets it back for just a moment. Adair slings it ahead and a little bit too far ahead. Nice job, by the way, by Jacob Jenkins to slow down and not slam into the wall. Even with the padding down there, that would hurt pretty badly. Adair with aggressive play on defense now. The early going, his team trailing by two. Playoff match is set, so this game win or lose for either one of these teams is not going to make a big difference in the overall picture as to what's going to happen in the postseason still don't want to give up a, a loss at any point especially not for Caddo this would be win number 20 on the season for the Bruins Couch will kick it out Jenkins for three good Jacob Jenkins from long range and the student section coming alive. He slipped with a near steal twice. Looks like they're going to get Lackey stepping over. Try not to give up the baseline. That is exactly the case for Lackey. It's his first personal, second team foul. Both teams... Really kind of feeling each other out here in the early going. Just 
to stay now here on the Calera end. And Neptune and Nesbitt will check back in. Nice turnaround. Not going to fall that time for Iker. And Adair looks ahead. Pump fake. Hayslip under the basket. Three black jerseys go by, and Hayslip gets two. And that's going to draw the ire of Coach Thomas Evans. He's going to take the timeout. We'll keep it right here for just a moment then. As I uh, want to say thanks again to our sponsors, to Gallipot Pharmacy, Smith Feed and Grain, Dane Joins Body Shop, Hausner Storm Shelters. Gallipot Pharmacy, our sponsor for the first quarter, Longtime sponsor for our Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Games. Josiah Shelmer and his crew will take care of your prescription needs. An independent pharmacist right here in Bryan County. They have the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Game often playing there in the office. So when you stop by, you may get a chance to watch your favorite Bryan County team play. Caddo and Calera meeting for the first time this season in the regular season portion. Met up in the Bryan County Tournament. And Caddo came away with the win. 71-41 in that matchup. Just uh, in case you were wondering, we are sitting near the student section here at Caddo. Good ball moving for the Bruins. Hayslip from long range can't get it to fall and then picks up the foul. That's a cheap one, but credit to the aggressive play. Caddo with four team fouls now here in the first four plus minutes. Bench goes pretty deep for Coach Johnson. By the way, speaking of bench players, checking into the contest for Calera is Nockney Anna, who has the ball right now. Iker for three, no. Looks like that one almost got away from Caden Huddleston, who was also checked in for Calera. Jeffrey's there on defense to redirect that one, and Calera with another opportunity to get within one or maybe tie this one back up. Underneath is Smith. That one blocked from behind. Hayslip. Great job on defense tonight. The guard is there. Jenkins for three. No. And Anna can't contain it. Lots of points left on the court here in the first quarter. Neptune looking for Jenkins underneath. Instead finds Hayslip outside. Playoffs get underway tomorrow night for Class A and Class B in Oklahoma. We'll take a look during the second quarter at some of the Bryan County teams as he slip travels. Lots of players checking in and out, and for Caddo, Jaden Self coming in, wearing number 22 is Braden Couch, the senior, also back in the contest now. Two seniors on the court for Caddo. It is senior night here. Braden Couch and K.W. Adair. Adair, the homecoming king. Pass ahead to Couch now. He'll get it back. And Adair drops it in from long range. K.W. Adair's first basket tonight is for three.
Answer not there for the Bulldogs. And we have an offensive foul. Anna trying to play some tight defense on Couch, and Couch may be giving a little bit more on the shoulder. So the Bulldogs catch a bit of a break there on that offensive foul. Looked like the momentum heading the way of the Bruins right there. Need a half-court set to work. Pass inside. The zone is there, and Neptune is going to tie that one up. That's just a great job by Neptune to reach a hand in there. And possession arrow will give it to Caddo. See what happens the other direction now. Man-to-man -man defense for the Bulldogs. Nobody coming to the ball now. Couch. Not going to get the look in the lane he wants. Contact and looked like Smith may have been falling back a little bit anyway. Neptune's a, a big body in the lane, so if you're already going back, you're probably going to keep going back. Colton Neptune with his first basket tonight. It is 10-2. Go the other way. Jenkins now on the board. Actually had a three already. He has five now. Smith. Counters at the other end. Bodie Smith's first field goal. Calaire needed something, and they get it right before the end of the first quarter, but Cato will have one more opportunity. Gallipot Pharmacy, our first quarter sponsor here of this Bryan County Patriots spotlight game, will get one more shot in. Adair stops, eight-footer, goes at the buzzer. K.W. Adair with two more points. He has five, and Cato has a 10-point lead. Back in a moment with the second quarter of this Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning, I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Welcome back to this Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game. It's been... Caddo stepping things up in the latter part of the first quarter. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors for tonight's broadcast, including Gallipot Pharmacy, Sales and Trails Family History, Dane Joins Body Shop, Hausner's Storm Shelters, and our sponsor for the second quarter, Smith Feed and Grain, right here in Caddo. Selling bag feed, bulk feed, four-way, as well as cattle cubes. Anna going to the basket. He'll go to the line to shoot, too. And don't forget about that. Still time to get your feed at Smith Feed and Grain, 103 North Main in Caddo, just north of the four-way stop there for Highway 22 and Armstrong Road. They also provide Pro Energy Liquid Cattle Feed, just in case you didn't know that. But, you know, spring is almost here. And with that, the sun, sun came out today. The sun came out today. Wow, go figure. Nagiani makes the first two free throws. The sun came out today, and that means spring is almost here. Well, guess what? Smith Feed and Grain can take care of your lawn and garden needs as well. Fertilizer, pesticide if you need that, garden seeds, you name it, stop by Smith Feed and Grain. Adair's long-range jumper no good. But Neptune will get it and take it the other direction. Nesbitt back in the contest, feeds it back to Adair, to the basket, count it. KW Adair, Adair splits defenders and goes strong to the rack. Timeout taken by Coach Thomas Evans. We 
got to talk about that for just a moment. Too easy that time on the drive by Adair. With this timeout, it gives us an opportunity to talk about the playoff look here for Bryan County teams. For Class B, now the playoffs get underway starting tomorrow. Boswell is the team with the bye in District 1 in Area 4. It's Thackerville and Caney Boys tomorrow. And then the winner of that game will take on Boswell, that district taking place in Thackerville. Victory Life without a boys team in the playoffs. So it's Sasakwa and Stringtown at Stringtown tomorrow night. And then Ashley will play tomorrow night against Eagletown at Batiste, and the winner will get Batiste on Saturday. Look at the Bryan County teams in the Class B playoffs. Defense there for the Bruins. Nice job by Jeffries. Keith Jeffries with his first basket tonight, just staying with it and making his way to the basket. It's 16-8. And another opportunity, the unforced error for the Bruins. The Bulldogs get a chance to cut a little way more into that deficit. Four players with two points tonight for the Bulldogs and Jeffries, Iker, Anna, and Smith. Anna falling away for three. No good, but Jeffries can't bring that in. Thought he was going to get that going strong to the basket. Neptune cut, but Adair thought better of the pass there. Instead, Nesbitt will take it from near the out-of-bounds line behind the Bruins where it says Lady Bruins and Haven. Nesbitt has three. And it's back to a double-digit lead for the Bruins. Counter on the other end, Keith Jeffries. He has five tonight. All of them coming here in the first two or three minutes of this second quarter. Full court pressure beaten, though. The Bulldogs have to be content with the half court set. Couch from the B in Bruins. Just a little bit closer than where Nesbitt was when he drained the three, and Braden counts with his first basket tonight. It's also from long range. And Cato has doubled up on Calera. Now the girls' game from about the second quarter on, it was Cato doubling up on Calera most of the night. Jeffries, great job to stay with it. Keith Jeffries with two more. He has seven. Bulldogs not going to let this get away here in the second quarter. It was nearing 10 seconds. The Bruins get past the timeline. Neptune backing down low on Smith. And no help underneath. Colton Neptune now with four. Bulldogs slow it down a little bit more. Neptune gets the steal off the tip. The baseball pass ahead. The cutter is Adair off the glass. Count it. Nice look all the way around. Jenkins decides he's going to wait for his teammate. Does just that. And KW Adair gets the basket, the harm. He gets the end one opportunity. Just past the midpoint here in the second quarter. Adair can't get the end one to fall. Bruins still doubling up here in the second quarter. Is 
Zone look is shifting around for the Bruins. That gives the opportunity from long range. No good. The putback is there. Tyler Schubert. Nice job for the Bulldogs to stay with it. And Neptune alone under the basket again. This time a nice move around Smith. Colton Neptune making things happen on the inside. The sophomore. Off the foot of Schubert ahead. That one, great job on defense by Jeffries. And Jeffries is just quick on both ends of the court, stays with the Bulldogs. Iker, and there's the foul. Tried to dribble through the defenders, and when he slowed down just a little bit, the pressure was there. There's the contact. Again, and credit to Keith Jeffries for staying with the ball on both ends. Of course, that's going to draw a one-and-one -one opportunity now as Cato with the seventh team foul. First free throw is good. Bulldog staying, just sticking around, sticking around. And Iker gets that one to fall as well. Four points. Man defense comes out beyond the arc now and stepping in for the steal. And it's going to draw a tie ball, but you have to give credit on defense that time to the Bulldogs. And how about Nockney Anna? Possession arrow says it's going to stay with Caddo, but that's as close to a turnover as you can get. And Nocniana just couldn't find anyone. Had the steal pretty much all on his own. Neptune backing down. Neptune off the glass. And Calera does not have an answer right now for Colton Neptune. Iker driving baseline. Anna pump fake, gets a defender off of him. Jeffries will go to the line. Taylor. Taking it all the other way is Nesbitt. And he has two more. Nice job on the inside. Anna with his first field goal tonight. And Adair. Will not get the roll this time, but he will go to the line to shoot too. Just third team foul for the Bulldogs. And with a minute 18 remaining, Calera now. Looking to keep this lead at a double figure notch. It's going back to talk about the playoffs just a little bit more. Class A. One Bryan County team in Class A this year. It's Bennington, and the boys will start their playoff run tomorrow night as Adair gets the free throw to fall. Bennington traveling to Smithville tomorrow night. 8 o'clock will take on Fort Towson. The winner of that game will get Smithville in the district final on Saturday.
Iker is open. Not there. Jeffries again. And crashing the board is Anna. Jeffries now will draw a trip to the free throw line. And he'll get the first. Keith Jeffries now with eight points on the night. Line shift pretty much for the Bruins coming in. For the Bulldogs, well, it's just been a, a rough 2020 since the calendar's turned. As Jeffries gets another basket, he has nine points tonight. Having lost five of the last six, and that includes that loss, and that streak actually started with the loss to Caddo. And an overtime loss against Colbert on a last-second shot in the Bryan County Tournament. Nesbitt gets that one to rattle in. Haven Nesbitt has three. Eight on the night. And all of them coming here in the second quarter. Time ticking away. Jeffries is going to let it tick almost all the way off. Got it off with a fraction of a second left. Doesn't get the look I think he wanted. And at the end of the first half, Calera stays with it, but still down 13. Thanks to all of our sponsors here of this Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game. Want to say thanks to Gallipot Pharmacy as well as Dane Joins Body Shop, Hausner's Storm Shelters, Sales and Trails Family History, and the sponsor for our second quarter, Smith feed and grain 30 or excuse me 103 north main right here in Caddo. we'll take a break and back in a moment here on the bryan county patriot spotlight game this is midwest sports saturday good morning i'm joey mcwilliams <laughs> i'm impressed with what you got going on joey Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today.
Back here at Caddo, our Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Games are brought to you by Smith Feed and Grain, as well as Sales and Trails Family History, Gallipot Pharmacy, Hausner Storm Shelters, and our sponsor here in the third quarter is Dane Joins Body Shop. Dane Joins, proud supporter of Caddo Athletics. Calera looking for something in the early going. Smith is there, grabs a hard rebound and goes to the basket and a nice move by Bodie Smith. He had two points in the first half. Calera was led by Keith Jeffries with nine points in the half. Timothy Eicher had four as did Nockney Anna and that's a solid move by Smith on the inside. Colton Neptune who picks up that foul and that's his third. Really strong on the inside in the first half. Had eight points and that was one of a Three players with a team-high eight points. KWA Darren Haven Nesbitt each had eight as well. 36 to 23 was our score, and Couch makes the second of two. 36-24 now. Lineups on the court now for the home Bruins. Colton Neptune with the ball. KWA Dare as well as Braden Couch, Jacob Jenkins, and Haven Nesbitt. There comes the double team, and Adair will come out of it. On the court for the Bulldogs in the road black jerseys. Tyler Schubert, Bodie Smith, Timothy Eicher, Keith Jeffries. And let's see, it looks like Nockney Anna on the court now. Turnover will give it back to the Bulldogs. Smith there again, can't get this one to fall. A great job by Schuper to stick around and leap up for the steal. He'll keep it, someone has to be open. It's Anna, tries the long range three, that a little short. And the freshman can't get that to fall. A minute and a half gone by here in the second half and neither team It look like getting over the intermission blues there. Thanks again to Dane Joins. Proud supporter of Caddo High School Athletics. The Bruins at 19 and 2 on the year, number 13 in the state. Neptune, the cutter, Neptune in the lane, receives the pass from Couch and Colton. Neptune has 10. He has double figures tonight. He's been able to get Himself open on the block, both backing down and dribbling around defenders, and that time cutting through the lane. The sophomore, effective tonight for the Bruins. Turnaround jumper is there. Keith Jeffries has two. He's now in double figures on the night to go with Neptune. Jeffries with a game-high 11. And Calera with another steal. We'll take a look at some Class 2A playoff brackets in just a moment. Jeffries will go to the line to shoot two, and Couch picks up the foul. Let's go to Area 4. And area four is where Calera and Caddo both find themselves in Class 2A this year. Calera travels to Silo one week from Saturday. The boys will take on the Silo Bruins at 8 o'clock. Meanwhile, for Caddo, the Bruins will also next to be playing on Saturday. Actually, it's the next game they're going to play. Caddo, Calera has one more game in the regular season. Jeffries with the basket, a free throw, taking on Lone Grove. For Caddo, they host the district. Rock Creek and Wilson will play on Friday for the right to play Caddo on Saturday's district final. And the Bulldogs, who trailed by 13 at the break, 
Trying to pull it to within eight here. The wraparound pass to Smith. Not there. Nesbitt will slow down, then pick up the speed again and take it in a little bit too strong. Afterburners kicked in, and that's an offensive foul. Nice hesitation move to really set that play up, and unfortunately went in too strong. 30-second timeout by Caddo, and it gives us an opportunity to once again say thank you to Dane Joins, our sponsor here in the third quarter, as well as Smith Feed and Grain, Gallipot Pharmacy, Hausner's Storm Shelters, and Sales and Trails Family History. Also in Class 2A, the bracket looks like this in Area 3. Colbert, the only team from Bryan County out of Area 4. Colbert on the road to take on Tushka one week from tomorrow night. That game will be played in Allen at 8 o'clock, the boys' game. And the winner of that game will face Allen on Saturday. Meanwhile, one more team that we've not talked about yet, at least on the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight games, the Durant Lions, Class 5A, taking on Will Rogers at Will Rogers in Tulsa on Friday, February 28th. So that is two weeks from tomorrow. And the winner of that game will take on the winner of East Central and Glenpool on Saturday the 29th. Long range shot for Iker won't fall. Hayslip alone in the lane, and we have a foul, and Hayslip, I, I want to say he was bailed out. Nearly got the three-second call. Lackey will go to the line to shoot two. That's one of those chances where you look around and you say, is a person too open? Well, we usually say that after a missed shot, but I think Hayslip kept looking for someone to cut in the lane. Lackey's going to be the beneficiary, and he gets a free throw. Neptune with 10 for the Bruins. Second free throw won't fall. Still an 11-point game. Bruins there on defense. Neptune ahead to Hayslip. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. On the left-hand side, had to go up with that right hand, and he drew the contact, so that'll give him an opportunity to slow down, catch his breath, and try to drain two one-point shots. Can't get it there. Caddo won our earlier game tonight, 71-36. You can watch that game on the YouTube channel as well, MidwestSports.net's YouTube channel. Please subscribe. MidwestSports.net YouTube channel, home of the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game, as well as the flagship show, Midwest Sports Saturday, which will come to you on Saturday, this Saturday, February 15th, from Conway, Arkansas. Steele, Jenkins, basket, Jenkins, and Caddo's back on top by 14. Another steal, Lackey this time, Lackey to the basket. No, but Jenkins is there for the put back. Give him two and maybe one more. Jacob Jenkins now with nine. Can't get the follow-up. But the Bruins have really extended this lead. Now 16 points. Bulldogs had some chances, and again one here to start the second half. I thought maybe they're going to pull that 10-point lead back into single digits, and it's not there. It's instead extended to 16, and we have a foul. It's going to be a loose ball foul as Hayslip too much contact. Timeout on the court. Bulldogs take that. 
And we want to say thank you again for watching our Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. It's right here on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. And Midwest Sports Saturday originating from Conway, Arkansas on Friday, February 15th on the campus of Central Baptist College as the Mustangs will take on the Lions Scots in a double header and we'll be there. We get to talk with coaches from both the women's and men's teams for both Central Baptist and Lion, as well as a few other guests on the show. It's Midwest Sports Saturday. It is this Saturday from Conway, Arkansas. Inbound play and on the far court. The Bulldogs really at this point to stay in this into the fourth quarter have to have some points. There's the play drawn up on the sideline coming out of the timeout. Iker, no, Iker. We'll slow things down and get a chance from the free throw line. Timothy Eicher with four points tonight. I missed the first free throw. Subs will come in now. Huddleston for the Bulldogs. And a number of players checking in right now for the Bruins, and that includes KW Adair and Braden Couch, the seniors. Second free throw falls. And they got what they wanted at, out of the timeout to get an open look on the play that's drawn up. Adair finds Lackey coming in on the right side, the baseline shot there for Lackey, his field goal. Good, his first field goal tonight. Caddo's largest lead of the game at 17. The zone has been extended, which means an opening on the other side. The pass too high, and Huddleston will step on the line. Turnover, Calera. Again, opportunity for the Bulldogs there. Drew the zone all the way over. Just didn't result in points. Hayslip the cutter to Lackey the reverse. And Hayslip will come away. Iker steps in the passing lane. Two points for the Bulldogs now. Quickly the other way, Hayslip gets defenders up in the air. Count the basket. A nice job. The junior getting the defenders to go by, and he'll go to the line. Strong to the basket as well. And now that largest lead of the ball game is now 18 points. Hayslip. I think that may be the first and one that's been successful tonight in either game. Go back and check that. Smith comes in, lowers the shoulders. Lackey's there. We talk about frustration fouls and that one had all the appearances of a frustration foul. Third foul for Smith tonight. In a game of runs, in a game where momentum shifts back and forth, like high school basketball, the Bulldogs needed to connect when the momentum was there. The pass inside to Lackey up and over Smith, who can't afford to pick up another foul, and now it's a 20-point game. Chandler Lackey has two more. Nesbitt diving for it. Iker stays with it and eventually thrown out of bounds. Got to credit the hustle for both those players. Loose balls on the court and players on the court.
Caddo finally comes away with that one. Four players touching the ball before it finally got to eight air. And that tipped away from behind. Anna is there. Huddleston's going to have to dribble it. Time ticking down here in the third quarter. The Bruins, Bruins, excuse me, have exerted themselves in the third, and Jeffries traveled. Really taking control of this game where there was an opportunity about the midpoint. It was a 10-point game, and Jeffries picks up a foul 50 feet from the basket. Cattle will look, get one more look. Thanks to Dane Joins Body Shop, our sponsor here in the third quarter. Adair lost control. Couch will have a chance. Turnaround jumper is no good. I think he lost track of time there. Got some help from the crowd. Finally got the shot off. In the meantime, it is now a 20-point game as Caddo outscores Calera 15 to 8 in the third quarter. We're back with eight more minutes of this ball game in just a moment on the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. <laughs> I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup today. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Eight minutes left in this one. KW Adair will get things going for the Bruins. It's been Caddo's night tonight, senior night. Three seniors, two in the boys' game, one in the girls' game. Kenzie Dixon, the homecoming queen. KW Adair, the homecoming king. Braden Couch, a senior as well. All their pictures, by the way, out in the lobby. As that one off the glass and in. Count it for three. Wow. And the official has smiled at that one as well. Brody Smith from long range and Calera back to within 17. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors for tonight's Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game, including Dane Joins Body Shop, Smith Feed and Grain, Sales and Trails Family History, as well as Gallipot Pharmacy. And our sponsor here in the fourth quarter is Hausner Storm Shelter. Lots of contact on that possession. And with a 17-point differential right now, just that incidental contact, and much of it was, going to be let go. Adair stepping in the passing lane. Caddo with numbers. Adair ahead of Jeffries. Count it. KW Adair has two more points. Adair in double figures on the night. Nice bounce pass. Anna to Smith. And that was a fantastic job threading the needle there. Colton Neptune will pick up the foul. That's his fourth. Free throw won't go, though. Get a second opportunity. Bodie Smith, been a frustrating night for the junior. He'll be back to play again another day. Well, specifically, he'll be back to play on Tuesday night, the regular season finale for Calera, hosting Lone Grove. We have a foul. This one's going to go the other way. Jeffries picks up that foul. That's his second. And that's going to result in free throws on the other end. A one and one opportunity now. Loose ball will send KW Adair to the line to shoot a one and one.
makes the first. Talked about Calera's woes having lost five of the last six. Caddo, meanwhile, having won five of its last six. A four-game winning streak right now. A loss against Kiowa following the Bryan Kenny tournament. Eight wins in a row prior to that. Only two losses on the season. Coming to Kiowa, number eight team in Class A, and Vanoss, the number six team then in Class 2A. It was a two-point loss. Vanoss won that one 45-43. Nice job. Caden Huddleston with the steal, and Caden Huddleston goes to the basket. Nesbitt, as Neptune clears a path on the block. Interesting look there. Haven Nesbitt has two. He's in double figures on the night. No look pass and the shot in the lane. Not going to fall for White. Nesbitt's long range shot comes up short. And he'll take a seat as will Couch and Adair. And Jenkins. Now Jenkins can stay out there. You have to play with five. Well, you should play with five. 20-point game with five and a half remaining. And see a second unit out right now for the most part for Caddo. And a long-range three, no good. And that's been the shot of choice for the evening right out there about where it says Lady Bruins on the court and even behind the text. Steal by Neptune. Pass ahead to Hayslip. This time the right-handed shot from the right side. Credit Neptune with an assist. Hayslip has eight. And Jaden Self near steal. That one's going to be knocked out. Caddo sends in Matt Argo now, the junior. And Neptune, after a very good night, will take a seat. Iker, a little step, maybe a little bit too long, and the shot just won't fall. Argo ahead to Hayslip, ahead to Jenkins. Count the basket. Great passes. Jenkins now in double figures tonight. He's the fourth Bruin to get there. And Anna will go to the line to shoot too. It's been a fun season here on the Bryan County Patriot. Our final game prior to the playoffs. Our second time to get to come here to Caddo. Thankful for the opportunity to be here. To, I want to say thanks to Mr. Busby and all the administration and staff here at Caddo for allowing us to come. Free throw's good for Anna. Freshman looks to have a bright future for the Bulldogs. Three-pointer by Jaden Self, the junior on the board for the first time tonight. He is the ninth, the eighth Caddo Bruin, excuse me, to get points. And the Bulldogs right back. And as the Bruins are pulling away from this one. And Smith will pick up another foul. Hayslip went hard to the basket. He's going to have to get up and shake this one off. It's a tough foul for Smith. They're not going to call Smith with the foul, actually. They're going to call Anna with the foul, and that rightfully so. I thought for sure that would go against Smith, and Hayslip had gone into him. That's where, just where the contact was. Smith will check out right now anyway. Colt Weaver steps in for the Bulldogs.
Quickly the other way, Jeffrey Sweeney with the ball now for Calera, and Jeffries tries the three. Hayslip there to block out well outside the arc, and he'll get the rebound. Jeffries with a block, and the Bulldogs on defense. Jeffries, the pass ahead to Iker. Sweeney, he'll go to the line. Nice job by Jeffries, not only get the block, but to have the presence of mind to turn around on the save and pass it ahead to a teammate. Very athletic play by Keith Jeffries. Sweeney on the board. Second free throw, no good. And Weaver diving for that one to keep it with the Bulldogs. Won't be able, or will he? It does stay with the Bulldogs. Anna on the baseline, nice look. Good mid-range jumper. Pressure and the Bulldogs will break it. And in transition, the pass is just a little bit too high. Colby Benhart. And now more subs coming in for both sides. We'll try to get everyone's name that we can here. If a Jersey matches up with the roster that we have. Slade Swedelson, Swedelson coming in, Roy Belvin as well for Calera. Brayden White back in the game. Jeremy Holly in for Caddo right now, as well as Jordan Holly. And tipped in the steal, Matt Argo there for that. Cash Pope in the game for Caddo. And Holly outside the arc, the pass, the cutter through the lane is Ben Hart. And he will make the basket. Nice job. Colby Ben Hart gets on the board. Just before he checks back out, Caden Danderson checking in for Caddo. As we have Jordan Holly out there. Timeout on the court right now as a player is down. We're going to take a timeout as well. Back in a moment, we get the rest of the players on the court to you here in just a moment in the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. <laughs> I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh, my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. The injured player is Jeffrey Sweeney and his teammates helping him off the court. 221 remaining in the game. And they'll attend to Sweeney now as we get the players also on the court for Caddo. Connor Williams is in the game as well. Jordan Holly, Cash Pope.
The Bulldogs will have it, it looks like now. Have to start on the other end and bring it back. Christian Thralls has also checked into the game. Slade Swedelson to throw this one in. Cato still now in the man-to-man -man defense. Third unit on the court right now, giving pressure. And that one's tipped away. Weaver will chase this one down, try to throw it back. It's going to stay on the Cato end. Bruins now in the half-court look. Cato will pick up its 20th win of the season. And again, now will not play for nine days. Look underneath. Nice pass from Pope. Finds Holly and Jordan Holly for two. The tenth Bruin to put points on the board. Inside out. That's Thralls driving to the basket. And we have subs checking in now quickly for Caddo. Two more now. Jeremy Hawley checks back in, and Colby Benhart will come back in. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors, by the way, over the course of the entire season. And we'll be back in the spring. We'll have some baseball and some softball action for you as well. Three-pointer a little bit off the mark. Saves. It's going to stay with the Bulldogs. Swedelson, he tries the three. That's no good. Kicked outside, baseline, and it'll be a turnover. Crowd starting to file out here on a cold Thursday night. Caddo has heated it up, though, the girls and the boys. Girls win by a final of 71-36. We await the final numbers here. Thralls looking inside. That one's taken away. Pass ahead, stolen back. Belvin looks to the corner, and Swedelson can't hold on. Maybe one more opportunity here for the Bruins. Regular season coming to a close now, and instead, this one's going to be dribbled away. Caddo moves to 20-2 on the year. Thanks to our sponsors for bringing us tonight's Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game. Thanks to Sales and Trails Family History, to Hausner's Storm Cellars, to Dane Joins Body Shop, to Smith Feed and Grain, and to Gallipot Pharmacy. Thank you so much for being sponsors for tonight's Bryan County contest. And again, Caddo wins, moves to 20-2. and two. The Calera Bulldogs fall to 10-12 and 12 on the season. Playoffs. Playoffs are next here. Thanks again for watching this Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game. For Jayla Quinn, I'm Joey McWilliams. And God bless you. Have a great night.